the gate was uh, 3.28 million. It was a, th this was a total sellout. So today, when we a lot of times we'll announce sellouts, and you'll have you know 50 single seats and things like that. We had 100 singles this morning. Not one single seat open for this event. It's the biggest event we've ever done here as far as attendance. Uh, 19,039 people here in the building tonight. The uh, fight of the night was Holloway and Ortega, and the performance bonuses went to Santos and Holloway. Congratulations to them, they all won $50,000 each. Gal, you first? Do I need Who's a first? Do I need a mic or can I just talk to you? Uh, well, this guy's you just, just, Oh, he had a mic? Go ahead. Yeah. You stole the mic from him. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to I respect my own. I'm a nice guy. Uh, I, I want to ask you. I want to ask you about uh, Max and just where he raised. And you know, Joe said an interesting thing in there. He said he might be the greatest featherweight of all time. And obviously, Connor was there, and other great fighters were there. How, wh where do you think Max rates right now among the all-time greats? It's impossible not to talk about him amongst the all-time great now. And yes, he, he possibly could be the greatest ever. Um, but let, let, let's not forget about. Uh, um, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I forget about Jose Aldo. 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 Yeah, Jose Aldo. And uh, but yeah, he, he's in. The, he's definitely in the discussion. This guy hasn't lost in five years. This this fight was huge. Um, it's one of the sickest fights I've ever seen. The chin on Ortega is insane. And uh, what a fight. Could you ever have imagined that he would have taken, I think he landed over 50% of his shots, and taken or take apart that one-sidedly? I mean, you know, he was just, he couldn't be stopped. Well, I think there were a lot of questions coming into this fight. You know, obviously, no questions about how good Max Holloway was, but he had a couple tough times making the weight. You know, we got him tested medically. We knew he was healthy. We knew he was safe. He went into this cut. Seemed great through the whole thing, um, and obviously came in and performed tonight at another level. He looked unbelievable. Um, those were the questions, I think, that many people had about him tonight. How would he look after the weight cut and coming back and, you know, the layoff and all that stuff, and wow. And my last question for you, Dana, is when you look at him, uh, he's a guy that has improved so much, and he was good to begin with. And he and, continues to improve right. every time he fights. And, and he... Not that he doesn't have submissions, but he's not one of those like like Ortega is. is a great submission guy. He seems to be a stand-up fighter, and he, it's rare the other guy that's that good that doesn't have that other. Well, he does. I he know has, he has it, but I'm saying he's he not as dangerous. Good. The other because way. he's that good at submissions, he stays out of them, and he, he stays with you know with striking because he's so much better than everybody when they're standing up. Why not? Go ahead, sir. Um, so Dana, you know, you mentioned the sellout and uh, the crowd was on fire. Is there anything you would change, like aside from the weather, which I understand? Uh, uh, the weather wasn't bad either. It was, I, I had a good week here. I've been here since Tuesday. Uh, this is the millionth time I've said I love this town. Um, you know, the, people, I said this before too, when, when, when the Maymac thing was happening, they didn't want to come to Toronto. And I said, trust me, we, we got to go to Toronto. People don't realize what a big fight town Toronto really is and that um, it's a very educated market you know, almost 20,000 people in there tonight, on their feet, every round, going crazy, understand all the little, you know, all the technical things that go on in, in these fights, and uh, this is a fun place, man. Cool city, great hotels, restaurants, the whole deal. It's a, it's a great place. I love coming here and doing fights. Hey, Dana. Uh, hey, Dana. Uh, elaborating on Brian, like, he just kept coming. He, he, got, he took a lot of shots from Max, but he just kept coming on. Like, how impressed? Were you with with Brian's uh, performance? Blown away. I was blown away. Um, I wanted them to stop that fight going into the fifth round. I was hoping that either the referee or the corner was going to stop that fight. The fight needed to be stopped. You know, for all of us in here that have been in the fight game for a long time, that's what you call too tough for your own good. And um, I believe he could have done the fifth round. I believe he would have done the fifth round but it should have never happened. That fifth round should have never happened, and I'm glad that it didn't. He's a young, talented guy, and uh, I think going into that fifth round would have been very bad for him, um, health-wise. Fourth round wasn't good for him health-wise, and, and definitely not the fifth round. So I, I commend the doctor here in Toronto for stopping that fight. He did a great job. 
uh, last question. Uh, from his uh, commendable performance, would you grant Brian a rematch with Max? That's too early to tell right now. I, I Honestly, listen, Max is a grown man and we need to talk, but I'd like to see Max go to 55 now. I think that, you know, the guy's 27 going on 28 years old. He's in the prime of his life, never looked better, continues to improve with every single fight that he's in. And I, and, and I think he's done everything he can do at 45. Why well, keep cutting that weight? And I think there's some big things that him up for him at 55. Uh, you kind of answered like... Let me get this guy and then... Oh, next. Next. Yeah, next. No, no, this oh, guy oh, and then sorry. next. Yep. Okay. Uh, coming into the week, Hanato Moicano was uh, pegged to be the replacement if anything happened to either fighter, uh, right. but he came one pound overweight, didn't cut the weight. Does he still deserve the title shot according to you? Yeah, I mean, Moicano is definitely, I mean, that's why we had him here. That, that guy's incredible. And actually, it's funny, I was on the treadmill today, and on TSN, they had the, uh, the Ortega-Moicano fight on, and I watched that fight again. And that's one of uh, another crazy fight. Uh, uh, really good. Moicano is a man. He's in the mix, and we'll see how this thing plays out. Thank you. Go ahead. Sorry. Take the mic. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, going back to what you said about Holloway and, and suggesting he moves up to 155, but like, and how much influence you do you have over that decision, or is that a something lot. you can only? <laughs> you have a lot of influence. <laughs> Hi, Dana over here. Uh, yeah. Speaking of his plans at 155, any interest in running back the Holloway and Magomedov, you know, booking that almost happened at 223? Yeah, listen, I'd, I'd like to see him go to 55. You go to 50, if Holloway goes to 55, everybody in the top five is a fun fight for him. And uh, I want to talk about Joanna as well. You know, she said she needs to take some time to think, obviously, and, and, and talk to you in the UFC, of course, um, about what's next. But do you have a particular idea as far as, you know, whether you'd like to see her stay at 125 or go down to 115 as she wants to? Yeah. Um, I love her. She's such a great fighter and, 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 and such a good person. And I've actually, I consider her a friend. I want her to take some time off, go spend some time with her family. And then we'll get together and we'll talk about it, but I'd like to see her, see her stay at 15. Yeah. 15 or 25? Huh? 25 or 15? 15. Dana, just to follow up on Max going up, uh, how does that conversation go for him? Because I imagine, you know, he would have to be giving up his belt, and I'm sure there's perks that come along with that pay-per-view, uh, points, all that kind of stuff. We'll so, figure that out. Yeah, so do you... But for him, I'm sure he wants to, you know, either go in there wanting the chance to be a champion right away, those kind of things, right? Yeah, I hear you, but that's not the case at 55 right now because of what's going on. So we got to find out what happens on Monday, and then uh, then I can figure out what's going on with that entire division. You know, it's, it's tough when the top two guys in the in the world are both going in for disciplinary stuff, and and uh, you know. So we'll see how this thing plays out, and then we'll go from there. But any, any fights right now are good for Max, and this fight actually was trending really well on pay-per-view tonight, too. So um, obviously we'll have to figure that out with him. Yeah, Tony Ferguson actually tweeted that he'd like to fight Max if the Habib fight doesn't work out. I love that. I love that shit. Right on, Tony. And if Max does leave the division... Did Tyron Woodley call? <laughs> <laughs> No? I haven't seen it. No, I was hoping he did. Uh, but, you know, if Max does go up, where's that leap, by the way? Because you already had this, uh, you know, Connor was the champion, and he vacated, moved out. Max kind of rebuilt the championship scene there, went on this run, and then you'd kind of be taking that champion out of the division again and have to rebuild. Is that something that's just part of the process? Yeah, it happens. It happens. I want what's right for Max. You know what I mean? What's right for Max might not necessarily be what's right for the division. But we'll figure that out. I, I think that after his last issues, um, I, I think it would it would be better for him physically and every other way to move up to 55 pounds. You know, yeah. he has not said one word to me, so we'll see how he feels about that. He and I will talk about it, and we'll go from there. Yeah, and I mean, I imagine from his perspective, he said the cut went well, he performed well, he meant landed the most strikes ever. Looking great. He looked yeah. better than he's ever looked. Cause not tonight was his. His greatest performance, and I thought he looked unbelievable against Aldo. So, I agree. Do you have an official health update on Brian? I imagine he was transported. Um, both these guys. Uh, uh, Holloway, too. I'm going to make sure that they get everything twice. Yeah. 
Gotcha. And just last thing, any other performance that stood out to you? Obviously, you know, Tiago, Marta Santos was great. Santos. Uh, Gunnar Nelson came back. Anyone who Gunner really impressed you? That was a tonight? great fight, too. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a great card. There were a lot of great fights tonight. Um, yeah, everybody looked good. I, I love the whole Yeah, we, we definitely opened the pay-per-view right. That, that man with Santos fight was incredible. Those guys had fight of the night in the bag until the main event happened, you know? Kill, incredible fight. Did you like that picture? Huh? You like that picture? Yeah, great picture. Too. <laughs> uh, Dana, over I here? think that was everybody's face during that fight. Dana, right here? Yeah? You mentioned uh, the card was trending really well uh, on social media. Yep. Obviously, uh, Canada's a great market. Uh, we've heard some rumblings next year about Quebec City, potentially Vancouver. Any uh, light you can shed on Canadian dates for next year? I don't know off the top of my head, but you know, we just announced tonight that we did another multi-year deal with TSN, which I'm very pumped up about, and uh, so it's all good, you know? We'll be back. On, on that note, actually, uh, you know, with the ESPN Plus happening in the States, how does that affect Canadians with the TV deal? Is it just going to be on TSN, all the, all yeah. the content? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, Doing the same thing with TSN. We got uh, we got prelims, pay per view prelims. We got fight nights. Uh, my contender series is going to be on TSN. Good stuff. That's great. And, and you talked Thank about you. Max moving up, and so that would leave a void at featherweight. Is, is the idea to do Aldo and Moicano next for maybe a vacant title? I don't know. I, again, I, I haven't even talked to Max yet about the, any of this stuff. You know, I was out there doing interviews saying I want him at 55, and he's standing three feet away from me. Okay. And he didn't yell, yeah, I want to go to 55, so he but probably doesn't want to go to 55. Would imagine. that make the most sense, though, hypothetically, just because Moicano was the backup, and Aldo, I mean, he's looked great in his last fight. Some things that make sense don't necessarily work all the time, so I don't even try to play this game anymore. I, I, I get there. And, and one more thing on titles. Any update on the Walter Wade title fight? What's happening with that? With um, you know, because I know the, the idea was to do Woodley and Covington. What, what's the latest on that? Nothing. So I, I told everybody yesterday. I go home tonight, right now. I'm going home after this, and then I will. Uh, I'll get this stuff figured out. I go back on the road on Wednesday, so I got two days to get my shit together. <coughs> John? Yeah. Sorry, I work in the camera back here tonight. Buddy? Yeah, hey, just one question. Uh, Holloway, he doesn't like talking about Connor very much, but they have a history. If he moves up to 155, does running that fight back, I know we got to wait for, for, for the NSAC thing to work out, but does running that fight back make sense to you? Yeah, I'll, I'll, there's a lot of fights for him at, at that weight. Um, you know, I think everybody in the top five is an interesting, exciting fight for Holloway. So um, that, that's why I, th I say that I think there's bigger and better things for him at 55 pounds. See if he agrees. Hey, Dina. Um, Nick Diaz, Jorge Masvidal. Is that officially on? Is that happening? Uh, yeah, so somebody was just telling me earlier that we, we didn't announce that. Is that true? We didn't announce it or what? I don't as far I can't. Uh, as far as I know, sitting right here right now, that fight's on. Yeah, as far as I know, that fight is on. Okay. Unless something happened while I was, I've been here since Tuesday. Unless something happened since Tuesday, which is very possible, um, it's on. Uh, and speaking of his brother Nate, I know that you know he was supposed to fight on the MSG card uh, last month, and Dustin kind of you know you know was forced out of that fight. Any update on work with Nick, Nate, Nate Diaz to bring him back to a fight soon? No, we got nothing going on with Nate. Okay. Good. Anyone else? Do you have an update on Campbell? Thanks, Toronto. Appreciate it. Have a good night.